good morning. It was a good morning anyways. I'm just about ready to go. I just did everything I need to do to get this truck ready for the road, except for turn that light off back there. One second. Bear with me. Bear with me. I've gotta train these dogs to do that. Ah, oh, what did I step on? Ah, why is there a burr in here? Who brought in a little friend? Ouch, was that on one of your feet? That must have hurt. Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. Is there any more on you guys? I'll have to check you. Just the one? Anyways, like I was saying, it was a good morning, but just as I was about to put the truck into gear here, it started snowing. White fluffy stuff falling from the sky. I don't know if the camera's picking it up because it's very, very fine. Very fine snow, but it is snow. Is that what you'd say? Very s fine, very light snow. <laughs> I can't word. Okay, why is this guy parking beside me? That's not a parking spot. But, oh well, here we go. to get onto the road. Look out, people. Trucker Josh is about to enter the highway. Buckle up. Hopefully this weather gets better, but since we're headed north towards Canada, <laughs> I have my doubts. This time of year, you always gotta check the weather temperatures of where you're going when you're working in the northern climates of the US or anywhere in Canada. You wanna know how cold it's gonna get. If it gets to around uh, minus 20 Celsius or lower, you wanna make sure you add anti-gel additive into your fuel, especially if you buy fuel down here in the States. Their fuel isn't quite as tough when it comes to winter time. Hey buddy, oh you do have your signal on. Oh, I just can't see it. Okay. Oh, those snow plows, it bothers me when they put those uh, uh, white strobe lights on the back like that, that when you're, whoa, 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 this is slippery. Ho, 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 there's a pole there. That was slippery. All right, I'm, I'm officially awake. <laughs> Let's take her a little easy. Just about slid right into that pole. Okay. What was I saying? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Woo! <laughs> Let's get going. Let's be careful today. That's a big pile of snow. We just stopped here at another coffee time location in South Dakota. I like these places. A little coffee cup. Not coffee time, coffee cup. Oh, and you know what? We forgot to get a coffee. Oh, for crying out loud. Now I've got to go back in there. I went in there and I got some cheese curds to munch on. <laughs> and some new gloves, because my old gloves ripped. And I didn't get a coffee. And then I went to go walk the dogs over there by that pile of snow. Oh, now I gotta go back in there. Well, we're not leaving without a coffee. It's the whole reason why we're here. You know what? No, I'm gonna go park over there. Dang it. Can't believe I forgot a coffee at Coffee Cup. What kind of man am I? colder again. It's not too bad here right now. It's uh, only negative nine Celsius. So we're looking at what? Mid twenties Fahrenheit, high twenties Fahrenheit. So it's not too bad. Considering that the last time we were here, that was the day before yesterday, it was minus 30. So I haven't had to add any anti-gel conditioner to my diesel fuel 
today yet. But I will add one tonight, I'm thinking. I'm gonna wait till I'm in Canada to fuel up. The last time I fueled up was in Sioux City. And I can easily make it back into Canada and back into Minnesota without fueling up again. But I wanna get some good winter diesel from Canada in my truck. And then I've been paying attention to the weather. And it's not supposed to go down into a deep freeze in the next couple of days. So I'm thinking I might not even need to put fuel conditioner in my fuel this time. I don't add it in every time because they're like $20 US a jug. So that's $20 every time you fuel. It adds up if you fuel every day. So I don't add them every time. But what I do, I take one of those power service, those white jugs, and I put half of it in one tank, half of it in the other tank, use the whole jug, and then I usually put it in every second time I fuel up. Unless if you use the whole tank, you know what I mean? Because one jug fuels up uh, co conditions, or it it treats up to 250 gallons, or you know, like many, many hundreds of liters. At least now that it's a little bit colder, there isn't as much moisture on the road. Still a little bit, but this morning, man, I went through like two jugs of washer fluid because down in Iowa or down in southern uh, South Dakota, the roads were so wet and messy. It was just constant. But now that we're through Fargo, it's just a hop, skip, and a hump, and we'll be in Canada. My trailer is waiting. I got the message saying that my trailer's waiting for me already. I don't have to tarp the lumber. But we're taking it down to Warrens, Wisconsin. That's right around uh, Wisconsin Dells area down there. Maybe a little further south than that. I'm not sure, but. Should be fun. And then we have, like, like I said, that load of glass going to BC. And I've already got a load lined up from BC taking me home. Uh, more of those insulation panels. So these next three loads that are lined up, it should get me home for January 31st. So we'll be busy to the end of the month now. Which these videos are a week behind, so that's my next two weeks booked up. Which is good, because I got a dentist appointment on February 1st that I gotta be home for. So it works out perfect. Well, 
that day went pretty quick, but it went pretty well, I think. What do you guys think? Yeah? What do you think? Big stretch, that means it went excellent. So I'm in St. Agath, Manitoba right now. I have a new load behind me. I already dropped off the steel at the yard, took all my equipment off of it, put my equipment back onto this load. Now we're on our way down to Wisconsin, but we're gonna stay here for the night. So we're gonna be here for the next 10 hours. Uh, it says it's 1,024 kilometers, but that can't be right. Because it said 900 and some just earlier. I have to look at this a little closer. So about, it's about a full day's drive from here yet to Warrens, Wisconsin. I'm not sure why it's telling me it's, oh, because it wants me to go all the way back up to Winnipeg? No, that's about nine hours of driving from here. I can do it tomorrow. So I'm gonna wake up in the morning, have a shower, enjoy the day, take my time, and I'm unloading sometime mid-morning or late morning on Thursday. I'll give you a look at this new load that I have right now though. We're parked here at the Flying J. That new one I was telling you about a while ago. It's never really full here and I like that. So this is my load of lumber that we're taking to Wisconsin. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Got my tarps at the back here because I'm going, going to need them for my next load and the load after that. Both my loads after this, the one in Minnesota going to BC and the one in BC coming back to Manitoba are all tarp loads. So here we go. Thanks for watching today, guys.